I'm back with another project. Today I have the bathtub, the little uh, soap dish, I guess, or whatever you want to hold in there. You can hold whatever you want in there. So I've been thinking about this for a while and how can I be creative? It's got these little feet, a claw foot tub that go in these holes. And I didn't want to just like mix up one color of resin and pour it in because that's not how my brain thinks. So being in Southwest Florida and being the fact that everybody likes beach theme, I'm like, how can I make the bathtub a beach theme? And then I remembered I have these little white pebbles. So I'm going to, cause like at the bottom of the sea, sometimes you have these stones instead of sand. I'm going to use these to fill the tub. And then I'm going to do the gradient colors like the beach. So I'm going to do dark blue, a light blue, and then the sand color. So I was messing around with my alcohol inks to see what I liked. And these were the ones I was looking at. So I'm going to do these two colors. And then this is the gold metallic alcohol ink I chose for the sand. So I'm going to mix up some resin and see if this actually works out. So hang on tight and let's have fun today. Okay, so I've got my colors mixed up and I know they look dark in the cups, but they are pretty transparent. I tested them on my, my um, paper towel over here. Um, I'm going to pour the feet first to make sure I don't run out of resin. And I want them the color of the sand. So I'm just going to fill these up first. I'm trying to think the best way to do this. I was going to mix the rocks right into my cup. And then I don't know how many rocks I'm going to need. So then I think what I'm going to do is um, put the rocks into this tub first, each layer, one layer at a time, and then pour the resin over it and kind of squish it down. Let me just set these aside. So I think I'm just going to take these and try my hardest to get them evenly spaced around. And then once one layer is done with the color and everything, and I'm happy with it, then I think I'll add the next layer. So I'm just going to squish these where I want them. Because I want an even layer of the colors of each color going around. I don't know if that makes sense, but in my head, it makes sense. So you'll just have to wait and see what I'm thinking about. All right, so that's pretty even. Okay, let me just scoot a couple over there. All right, so my idea is to take this darkest blue that I want at the top Make sure it's mixed well. And kind of pour it all the way around. I don't know if this is the right way to do it or not. It's going to go around by itself. And then I'm going to just try to squish it down in there. So all the rock, I hope this is the right way to do it. I have no idea. I've never seen anybody do this before. So I'm kind of making it up on my own. Now the whole tub held four ounces total. I don't know that it'll hold four ounces with all these rocks in here though. So I'm just gonna take this stick and get this resin all the way down.
I mean, I know they're going to go together. And I want them to go together so it has a nice transition. Like I said, I don't know. Now, I got a lot asked if you watched my little jar that I made, the beach jar. Gosh, it seems like I do everything beach. I'm sorry, guys. Um, the beach jar I made with the broken mirror. A lot asked me if uh, if the glass, if the broken mirror scratched my mold, and it did not scratch the mold. Okay, that's about what I thought would happen. So I'm pretty sure there's no bubbles in there. And it's all the way around. So now I'm just going to add... Some more all the way around for the next level. And see what happens. And I just want the like the bottom to be the gold. See, I see the, this blue is Hoping. going up. So it's not going to hold the whole four ounces. I can say that right now. Sorry if I'm out of frame, guys. It's hard to do this and watch the camera at the same time. All right. Kind of get that in there. Take my stick and mix it in. Once you add resin to rocks, I've noticed in the past few things is they they sink closer together. So if you're gonna dry measure it with the rocks, it's not gonna be the same. See how the rocks are gone there, and I had them filled. You should have gloves on. I always learn the hard way and I still never learn. I just can't stand wearing them. They bother me. So I'm going to get some more rocks shoved down in there. I hope this turns out the way I'm envisioning it. If you're seeing this video, it's probably not too bad. Otherwise, I'm going to show you the video on what not to do. Like, sometimes I do do that. Learn from my mistakes. Do not do this. You'll see a couple of mine on there. Save your resin. Don't do it. I just hope you could see that blue transition. I don't know if you're going to be able to. All right, so I'm going to fill up the rest. And we're going to pour the gold on it. Let's see what happens. I guess we won't know until tomorrow. Now don't go above those little legs because that's where you need to put the uh, little feet in there when they're cured. I sure hope you could see this gold. It's just at the top, so I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. I never know what's going to happen. Uh, I wish I could see somebody do this first. Okay, well, that's all that's going to fit. I wish I could have put more gold in there. And I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I'm not sure it's going to look much like a beach because the gold is kind of mixing with the green. 
And I'm not sure I can put any more rocks in there because I can't see them. If it doesn't work, we'll try it again. I do have leftover resin, so make something small with it. Because I do put them in as freebies with orders. Just want to wipe this off. Keep those clean. You don't want those filling in. So I don't know. I'm not confident that I'm going to like this tomorrow. But we shall see. I will be back tomorrow. Enjoy this little clip while you wait. guys next day and i'm actually going to unmold this bonus this was the extras from those three colors i just puddled them into each other and a little coaster it actually filled the coaster perfectly eh, it's all right nothing spectacular okay so i will show you this is empty so this was really hard to get out. I definitely did not want to struggle with this on camera, so I did move it off camera. And I will show you the results right now. You ready? Three, two, one. I'm a little disappointed, but I did learn some lessons. The gold didn't come out good. You can only tiny see one little tiny spot in the middle. And the the different colors. The little green is just on the bottom here. So I wish I would have done it a little bit different. Not as much blue, like barely any blue next time. And I don't want the second color to come up over this edge. So I am going to try this again. I did put the little feet in. And I put them in with my glue, my E6000. So they'll stay. But all in all, I think the pebbles came out cute. Even though the colors aren't spectacular. But, you know, you live and learn, right? I just taught you guys a lesson. And I taught myself a lesson too. So I'm going to try this again. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you on the next video. And I will snapshot just a couple pictures for you. Take care, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.